Hi there and thanks for joining as we decorate up this odd little piece of wood that I found and sanded. I did drill a hole and add this little knob here which is, gives it a kind of little rustic feel. And I decided this was the perfect door for say a gnome or a fairy, uh, whatever you should choose. So I'm going to take our welcome transfer out of our welcome trio and put that on. I'm going to use white and I'm going to use black just because of the dark and the light colors going across the top. I didn't want any part of it to disappear. So I'm going to use a shadowing technique. As you can see, the white does not show up in the lighter area, but the black will and then the white will show up in the darker area. So I just clean this up, dry it off, lay it back over the top after the chalk has dried. And I line it up perfectly and then I just move it a smidge down and over so that we have that white shadow still remaining there. Putting the black chalk through, lifting it up, and there we go. There's our wonderful little welcome. That was all I was going to chalk on it. Can you believe it? That's it. So now I'm going to be using my glue gun, a little bit of moss, and we're going to give this a nice rustic magical feel with the moss and some... Uh, some greenery and a little bit of flowers and all I'm doing is hot gluing here I was going to use E6000 but I couldn't get it opened <laughs> so anyway I just hot gluing this this is going to be an indoor only piece obviously with the real moss and everything um, that wouldn't uh, handle the weather at all especially here in South Dakota I am sealing this with a Krylon polyurethane spray so that if it is dry dusted or whatever, the welcome will not smear off. And stapling on these pieces here and gluing on the final piece of moss, I get this beautiful finished product here. Let me know what you think. Thanks for joining and happy chalking.